M moving on, let's talk about Dell once again. Yes, CEO Michael Dell announced at the EMC World Conference in Las Vegas that the biggest merger in tech history will be declared by Dell Technologies. We've heard this before, haven't we folks? We definitely have. For those who aren't acquainted with the merger, Dell announced in October last year that it would be acquiring the tech company for uh, EMC for $67 billion, which we know, a huge chunk of dough right there, which we reported actually last show and uh, considered by many in the tech industry to be the largest deal in tech history. However, Scott, the merger involves a substantial amount of debt as we talked, approximately $50 billion. Therefore, both companies have been planning to dispose of as many non-core assets as they can in order to diminish the financial burden burden, including Documentum. Scott, we continue to hammer this home. Nothing's happened. They're ditching a bunch of government. What do you think of this? Uh, I think our producers are testing us, Tyler, to see how many times we can talk about this subject and make it seem new. Um, <laughs> let's, let's see, we talked about it in February. In February, we said, Dell is thinking about buying EMC. And then in April, we said, Dell is buying EMC, but the EMC needs to sell off Documentum first. Now, now we say, if Dell buys EMC, this is going to be the biggest deal ever. Valid. Okay, so they continue to stay in the news, and Michael Dell is, is, is better than anybody at doing that. But I think ultimately here, what, what we are talking about, sure, if we want to take a new spin on this, then the point here is, yes, in order to make this deal go through, it would be one of the biggest, but it's $50 billion of that money is, is debt money. And so both of them have to shed a fair amount of their business. I think we've already seen Dell shed uh, Perot systems to NTT data. Um, a couple of other things are looking to get off of their books as well. And certainly there's been lots of speculation that EMC would shed Documentum in order to make this deal happen as well. So. Do you see any of this happening anytime soon? I guess the question, because I mean, we're talking $67 billion. I mean, like I said, this is a huge money, biggest ever. Is this even on the horizon though? Right now, as we talk about this here in May, yeah. I mean, is this going to happen this year, do you think? Or are we still saying we really have no idea? To be honest, you know, again, I'm, I'm, more, I'm an industry analyst, not a financial analyst. I think those guys are probably the best ones to say whether or not this can happen and, and what needs to happen in order for that to happen, to, to take place. Um, you, you know, from my standpoint, it's just starting to look, it, it's, it's getting old, to be honest, to talk about it. I think if we were to talk about an interesting point of this is with the kind of commentary that we had last month, which is what would happen to a Documentum if EMC were to sell that off? Is that still a thriving business? I think that it is. Is there Are there some good buyers for it? I think that there are. We talked about HP being one of them, and I got a little bit of news um, from that. You know, I don't have any insider knowledge, though, but in terms of how long does it take to make this thing go through, I, to be honest, I really don't know. I just hope that it's not another, uh, you know, Drupal 8 sort of thing where we <laughs> talk about it for years ad nauseum um, before it finally comes out. It's starting to sound like the LeBron decision, right? When everybody <laughs> just said, I'm sick of listening to this guy, but hey, it's the biggest story out there. You got to talk about it. That's so right. That's what happens at the end. Maybe we'll get Michael Dell to come on. That's a good call. I think we should. If All it's right. in the distillery, I think we might be able to get him. I don't think we'll have any hard time with that whatsoever.